Welcome to Quick DeFi Alpha, and in this video, I'll be using Token Terminal to compare the relative valuations of Uniswap and SushiSwap to better inform our financial decisions. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and check out the playlist on Quick DeFi Alpha, and none of this is financial advice. So let's get started. So what is Token Terminal? Token Terminal basically allows us to compare traditional financial metrics on crypto assets. And the it's currently free for all of us to use. I think it's like a free trial to you know, acquire more customers. So I encourage everyone to check out the terminal here. And it's really cool because you can check out the revenue. So for example, the total revenue paid in DeFi cumulative is approaching a billion dollars. That's a lot of money. And you also you can look at the price to sales, etc., for all these protocols. So if you scroll down here, we can see you know, which protocols are generating the most revenue. So aside from Bitcoin and Ethereum, we see that Uniswap has generated around $96 million uh, in revenue in the past 30 days, and SushiSwap generated $43 million, roughly 45% of that of, that of Uniswap. So you would think that you, the SushiSwap's uh, valuation would be roughly 45% that of, of uh, Uni, right? Well, let's check out point market cap. So Uniswap currently has roughly a $32.5 billion valuation. Okay, how about SushiSwap? Four and a half. Hmm. Is, does, does this mean that SushiSwap is severely undervalued? Does this mean that Uniswap is severely overvalued? Well, to you know, better inform, uh, inform ourselves, let's look at you know, a Coinbase's valuation, which is a centralized exchange that's set to IPO uh, relatively soon. So we see that Coinbase has roughly generated $1.14 billion in revenue in 2020, and they're gonna IPO at, a, at around $100 billion, right? Pretty hefty valuation. So I quickly made this chart, this on, on Google Sheets took like five minutes. So for each protocol, what's their valuation? Uh, what's their 30-day revenue? We don't have that for Coinbase. What's their annualized revenue in billions? So obviously Coinbase, this is gonna be a little underreported because 2021, their revenue must, must be much higher. But for the sake of simplicity, let's stick to this data. And in this column, I took the valuation divided by the annualized revenue. So we can see that compared to, Un compared to Coinbase Uniswap, you know, is, is undervalued, right? It's gen it's around, it's generating around like the same revenue uh, annualized to Coinbase, but it only has a third of the valuation. But more importantly, we look at SushiSwap with a, a valuation divided by annualized, annualized revenue of 8.72, which is roughly a tenth of that of Coinbase. So uh, when I see this data, I basically think to myself, okay, if I want more exposure to DEXs or AMMs, Instead of buying Coinbase stock or buying Uniswap governance tokens, I'll probably buy SushiSwap. And this doesn't mean that I'm bearish Uni, like I own more Uniswap tokens than Sushi, but if I'm gonna add exposure, I will be using Sushi instead. And the cool thing about Token Terminal is you can also look at, if you scroll up, the price to sales ratio. And obviously the lower price to sales, the better. And we see that KeeperDAO is roughly a three, SushiSwap's roughly a nine, and Uniswap's roughly 29. And there are other protocols here, right? And you know, if you see a low low price to sales ratio, and you've never heard of that protocol, maybe you should check it out. Like I, I've never heard of Token Lawn, uh, but if you look at the thirty day revenue, I think they were like top ten. They were yeah, they were right here. They were generating six million dollars in the past thirty days. So I've never heard of this protocol, but maybe you know this means it's worth checking out. So thank you for watching. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Only a comment in the comment section below. Thank you.